Welcome back. This is Retirement News Online. Well, the longer the time one spends in retirement, the harder it becomes to be certain about a retiree's financial outcome. In planning for retirement or living it, you must understand the risks that lie ahead and how they could impact your financial security. Here to talk about this is my guest, Brian Pierce in Winter Haven, Florida. And I guess uh, most people think about risk as being market risk, but with regards to retirement, what are some of the other risks that they need to consider? Well, Scott, longevity risk is the most important thing. It's uh, people are living longer today than, than ever with medical technology and such, and their assets may need to be, provide income for them for the next 20 or 30 years. Uh, another factor is inflation. This makes, uh, makes it more important when you start withdrawing monies from uh, your, your, your retirement dollars. Uh, you want to make sure that you're using a rate that is going to be a, a, a safe rate that's going to, again, keep these monies uh, lasting for the next 20 or 30 years. Uh, so it's very important that you plan to uh, you know, have assets and take out the, the, the amounts that you're going to need that are going to last for that, t t that time frame. Well, Brian, those are a lot of risks. Now, how do you manage all that? There are strategies out there that can provide growth with reduced risk. Uh, for example, there are company stocks, as an example, that pay dividends. That can be very desirable for uh, income generation and retirement. You also have fixed or deferred annuities uh, that have been around that can provide income with very low risk. Uh, and they need to you know, be, be talking with someone who's knowledgeable in these areas, a good knowledgeable financial advisor, uh, these types of investments or products can work very, very well uh, within a investor's investment needs and his risk profile. Well, I think the critical factors to consider are your age, uh, your personality, and what your risk tolerance is. You know, if you're 30 years old uh, and you're investing for retirement, you have a time frame of more than possibly three decades to work with, so you don't have to worry as much about the temporary ups and downs in the market. Uh, conversely, if you're 55 and you're getting close to retirement, you shouldn't be taking unnecessary risks with money intended for retirement income. Uh, one popular rule of thumb is to take your age and subtract it from 110 to determine the percentage of your investments that should be in riskier assets like stocks. I like to modify that, that rule a bit. Take your age and subtract it from 110 and then adjust the number up or down, again, depending on your own risk tolerance and your investment objectives. My guest has been Brian Pierce in Winter Haven, Florida. Thanks for watching Retirement News Online.